Hello, welcome to Old Time Knits. My name is Marie, and this is my first episode for my knitting podcast. I hope to be successful. Um, we'll give it a try. I don't really know. There's a lot of um, knitting podcasts, but I watch a ton and I truly, truly do enjoy it. I'm coming to you from central New Hampshire, and I will just like to share my um, process of knitting and if this will kind of help me keep tabs on some of my projects. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to jump right in and here we go. Okay, so let's get started with um, some finished objects. I do have a couple of finished objects today. Um, uh, my first one is a pair of socks. These are for um, my granddaughter. These are done in um, a DK weight. I um, didn't use a pattern. I just did my own recipe. I did a 40 stitch cast on on the US 3, 3.25 millimeter needle. Um, basic ribbing cuff, just a few short rows till the heel turn, heel flap and gusset, and then um, a contrasting toe. Um, I made this out of dragon horde yarn. There's the tag. In her uh, you're gonna focus slutty pumpkin colorway. This is really nice yarn. Um, my granddaughter's really gonna love these. Okay, so that's finished object number one. Finished object number two is another pair of socks. These are um, another DK weight. Um, I made these out of um, Woolens and Nosh in her self-striping, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, these are pretty big because I have a big foot. <laughs> um, this is the Fancy Schmancy Pumpkins colorway. And I did a contrasting um, toe, heel, and cuff with just some yarn that I had in my stash. Um, okay, this is on her 100% Superwash Merino base on her DK weight. And there's her card. And it's the... And I do apologize for my um, lighting situation and, um, you know, trying to figure all this out. It's hard with glasses. I feel like I have glare from lighting and um, I don't know how good I'm going to be at editing. But, you know, we'll, we'll just work our way through this and hopefully it'll all go well. Uh, so just bear with me and hopefully, um, hopefully you enjoy it. So let me see what else I have. Okay, um, I wanted to talk about what I'm wearing. Um, this shawl is what I call um, a happy accident. I started off with uh, a pattern and a one skein shawl project, which is still a one skein project. Um, but I misread the pattern somehow and the eyelets were only supposed to be on the beginning of the rows and I ended up just doing them all the way across. Let me take it off so I can show you. So, um, the yarn I used for this is Wollenbein Yarns in her Nouveau base. And um, it's called Dirty on Purpose. Super nice yarn. Really, really nice and drapey. Um, and a great color. Um, so anyway, I should have, I'm sorry, backwards. I should have just done the eyelets here along the, this edge for, I don't know, six stitches or seven stitches in, and I just misread the pattern. 
and just carried on throughout the whole row. I am super happy with the way it turned out, even though it isn't what the pattern was supposed to be. Um, I really like it. And I also like the fact that it's just a one skein. Uh, this was a pretty special skein. I have had it in my stash for a while, but um, you know, I really like a lighter weight shawl. I don't like the big bulky up all around in my neck. So I'm going to wear this a ton. I just know that that's the case with this one for sure. Um, yeah, so let's move on to something else. Okay, I thought maybe I could talk about some whips now. I have just a couple to talk about today. Um, I'm a little late to the party, but I am jumping on the um, Love Note bandwagon. Um, this product is housed in my bag by Mrs. Brown's bag. Um, I love this one. This is a tote. It holds a lot. Um, okay, so let's get... I'm sure you're all familiar with the pattern. Uh, this is by Tin Can Knits. So, and this is it. So... show you all that good. I have made it down to um, the ribbing and I have um, bound off for that and I am on the first sleeve. These, this is just has three quarter sleeves on it. Um, this is the softest sweater um, and the yarn that I'm using this is um, a, kind of an army green, I guess, or uh, different hues of greens. And this is from um, Hue Loco, and I'm pairing it together with uh, Boreal, Mo, Boreal is the colorway, Mohair from Sonder Yarn Company. It's their mohair base. And this looks a lot brighter on the screen than it actually is. Um, so yeah, I really like it. Uh, I had to do a little bit of modification. I am um, I'm a tall person. I'm like six feet, so I had to add some length to my sweater, but I think it'll be nice. I can't do the cropped thing. I already have a um, humongous length on me, uh, and I don't need to add to it. So um, this is my Rhinebeck sweater, or I, I think it is. Um, heading to Rhinebeck for the first time this year, so I'm pretty excited about that. I'm doing this on a size, whatever the pattern called for, size 10 needle. I did have to go up a size when I put my sleeves on, uh, my live stitches of sleeves on. I went up to a 10.5 because I think I knit a little bit tighter when I get to the sleeves. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. It took me forever to, um, you know get on this bandwagon and now um, I do see why people like it it's a really quick knit and um, an easy knit uh, I did struggle a little bit with the uh, the lace on it I, I don't know what I did I messed up and I had to rip it back um, not once but twice <laughs> uh, but that's okay that you know I always say that's uh, that's a great way to learn everything and um, you know, it just makes you a stronger, better knitter. So I always chalk those things up to experience and I'm happy to rip back to uh, solve a problem. Okay, the next project I wanted to talk about is um, housed in my Hohe and Co. Pampa bucket in the olive green colorway. I should have probably had my love note in this. It would have matched perfectly. <laughs> love these buckets because they stand up. They have a round bottom on them. They stand up so good. So I recently decided to start um, sharing the, whatever, the joy of the knitting with um, some charity knitting. And one of the charities I do uh, knit for is called um, Knots of Love. And um, they just ask for 
beanies. They do have a, like a whole list of yarns that, um, you know, is on their website that are approved yarns because this is for chemo patients and it's all chemo patients, um, kids, adults, seniors, veterans. They do, um, in fact, I think coming up, they're doing a, a veteran themed uh, where most of their beanies that are knit will be going to uh, the veterans for a period of time. There's all the information on the website. I'll try and link it down below. But anyway, um, they only want you to use acrylic yarns because they need the things to be um, washable, machine washable and dryable. So I am using the Lion Brand Heartland. And this yarn is really soft. And this is the or let me get it to focus. There it is. Mount Rainier. Mount Rainier Tweed colorway. Um, I thought it was fun. I thought I'd make a little bit smaller size uh, hat to, uh, you know, for a child. Um, and you know, chemo patients, they really appreciate this. This is a, a pretty special thing. So um, I just started it and um, I got my little pumpkin progress keeper on here. I do not know where this came from, but it is um, adorable. It's actually a stitch marker. And then um, I just did a one by one ribbing and I'm on to the pattern. And so this um, organization has lots of patterns on their website um, that you can uh, go and some of them are free and some of them are paid for. If they're a paid for pattern, um, this is the actual one I'm doing. If it's a paid for pattern, um, all of the proceeds go towards the um, organization. So it's a good thing to be doing. I recently, um, I think I sent five beanies at the beginning of the summer and um, they're so appreciative of those kind of things. So um, I like to help out if I can. And um, it's an easy palette cleanser, if you will. Um, I do have a couple of other whips, but I'm not going to show them on this, um, on this first time around. So, um, that's all I have for whips at the moment. I thought I would, um, talk a little bit about my future knitting plans. Um, there's always a list, but, uh, most recently I found, um, I like a, a smaller shawl as I spoke about earlier. And so, um, this is called the Featherline Shawl, and it's from Martha Weising Designs. And this is done, I think it's done in a DK weight, um, but I have a couple of skeins of um, sport weight, and this is Plucky Knitter, um, and this is her Primo Sport Base, uh, 275 yards. So this color is called Sock Monkey. And this color is called Bespoke. And so I thought those would be nice together. It's a two color shawl. I don't know how soon I will um, be casting it on. Anyway, this is a Merino cashmere nylon. And boy, is this a nice yarn. Uh, it also makes really, really nice socks. So um, that was one of the items that I'm hoping to cast on. Um, and also I just, placed an order. Uh, I tend to like a, a thicker sock to do. Um, you know, I used to do the fingering socks, finger and weight socks all the time, and I still will do them occasionally, but they just take so darn long for me. So I recently started experimenting with um, DK weight socks, and um, I do very, very much enjoy them. They go so fast, and they're squishy, and they still fit in my shoe. I don't have trouble with that. Um, I also have done socks with holding fingering weight together and that's a really great way to use up some of those little small extras and leftovers you have. But um, anyway, the DK weight and I've been thinking a lot about um, all the fall, of course. I love fall and so I just ordered these three colors from Hue Loco. Oh, so awesome. They're beautiful. Um, this is the colorway spruce. Beautiful. I thought maybe some, even some Christmas socks with that. It's kind of a tealy green. And then this is the colorway ochre, which I have used before. This um, is the most beautiful muted mustard color. It's a little bit brighter on screen than it actually is. 
And then this color is called Current, and it's a rusty. This is, again, to looks a little bit brighter. Um, so maybe some future socks, or I don't really know, but, I mean, you know, you see these things and you go, oh, man, I have to have them, and here I am. So, yeah. So that is that. All right. Well, I think I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. I do hope that um, I can get a little bit better at this. <laughs> and, um, you know, the more experience you get and the more comfortable you feel in front of the camera, then um, the smoother it will go. But I so appreciate if you've taken the time to watch this. And um, I hope that you have a nice day. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your week. I don't know when I will see you again, but um, I do have plans to go to Rhinebeck, and um, this is my very first time, so my husband and I are going to go. We're going to haul our camper, and um, we're super, super excited. We'll be able to go to India Untangled. We'll be able to go to the Woolen Folk, um, where there are some amazing vendors at both of those, and, um, and then we'll be able to go to Rhinebeck as well, so... Uh, I can't wait because, you know, it's just, I uh, hear so much about it all the time and I, um, I hope to have a great experience with it. But, all right. Anyway, that's enough of that. Thank you so much. If you, um, want to leave a comment, I really appreciate that. I love hearing from people. I've met a lot of nice, um, people along the way already. And, um, so I appreciate that. And if you like what you saw and I could use a little encouragement. So if you would like to like the video and subscribe and all that silly stuff. I'd really appreciate it. All right. Take care. Thank you so much for your time. Bye-bye.